Hello Wizarding World and welcome back to Wizarding Wiz and today I am extra hyped because today when I woke up I got this. That's right we have tons of information today surrounding Wizards Unite and what we can expect to see as far as gameplay goes. So let's get started shall we? <laughs> Calling all wizards. A first look into Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Look at that picture of Buckbeak and the magic going straight towards him. That is so, so beautiful. Niantic Incorporated and WB Games San Francisco are excited to finally share the first look into Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So for the first time, you will soon embark on your own Wizarding World adventure together with friends in the real world. Harry Potter Wizards Unite combines content and characters you know and love from the original Harry Potter series and Fantastic Beasts. That in itself is awesome. That means that they are covering everything known in the wizarding world, which is way more than I even expected. I don't know about you guys, but that right there has me so hyped. So let's scroll down a little bit further and we'll see what they're talking about. All right, let's see. Play your part in the wizarding world. A calamity has befallen the wizarding world, causing artifacts, creatures, and people, and even memories to mysteriously appear in the muggle world. Witches and wizards from across the globe must come together to solve the mystery of the calamity, overcome confunding chaotic magic that surrounds these foundables, and return them to their rightful place, keeping them safe from muggle eyes. Your journey re begins as a new recruit of the Statue of Secrecy Task Force, as we knew, established by the Ministry of Magic and the International Confederations of Wizards. Oh, look at this. We've got gameplay going on down here, guys. Is that Ron? That's Ron. That is Ron with the Acromantula. With the Remember? Oh, my God. That's from the book three where we learn about Bogarts and stuff. That is awesome. Looks like we're going to actually get to fight alongside these guys, maybe? To catch magical creatures? That's so cool. Alright, let's see what else we got here. The magic is all around you. As you step out and explore the world, the map will reveal traces of magic, highlighting the location of magical foundables. Foundables? What the heck are foundables? While these traces can be found all around you, certain foundables may be more likely to appear in various types of real-world locations, including parks, banks, zoos, Monuments, libraries, college campuses, municipal buildings, art galleries, and more. Cast a variety of spells to overcome confoundable magic, keep the magical foundables safe, and send them back to the wizarding world by returning foundables. You'll earn re unique rewards that can be tracked in game registry. So that explains what all that registry was for. So it looks like Slytherwin was right when he was talking about all the stuff that may incorporate those pictures on the side of that last trailer. Way to go, Slytherwin. I don't know if you're actually going to see this video, but dude, you were on it on that one. As you cast spells, you'll consume spell energy. Be sure to regularly stop by inns found at muggle locations around the world to collect food and drinks that replenish your spell energy. While exploring, you'll also come across ingredients that can be used to brew potions which will aid you in different aspects of your wizarding world journey. Now while they don't say what inns will actually be, I'm assuming that they're going to be something um, similar to Pokestops in Pokemon Go if you're familiar with that game at all. There's stops that you can go around and spin and you get items like balls and potions and things like that to heal your Pokemon, to catch Pokemon with, things of that nature, items to evolve certain Pokemon with. Uh, so that looks like they're going to have something similar to that in here. Now this is really exciting. Oh, look at this. Place here to tap a port key. Oh, look at those graphics, guys. Oh, that's amazing. And I know I'm looking down because at the time of recording I'm looking at my phone, although you should hopefully be able to see it right here next to me, everything that's going on that I'm seeing. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. That is, that is awesome. So, while exploring, you'll also come across ingredients that can be used to brew potions, which will aid you in different aspects of the wizarding journey. These ingredients can be found on the map, varying by environment, weather, and time of day, as well in specially designed greenhouses. This already sounds like it's going to be better than Pokemon Go. Just from reading this, this is fantastic. Now let's see what else this says. 
Also keep an eye out for portmentius. I don't, I can't pronounce that word. I don't know what that is. Uh, which can be unlocked to reveal port keys. Okay, so it's a place where you can get port keys that will whisk you away to iconic Wizarding World locations. For the first time, you'll be able to step into a full 360-degree advanced AR immersive experience in places like Ollivander's Wand Shop. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, guys. I mean, the hype is getting more and more as I read this. And I've already read through this once to try and make sure I don't mess up while I'm going over it with you guys, and the hype is just getting more and more real every time I read this. Let's see. Stronger Reunited. Test your combat skills by visiting one of the multiple fortresses indicated on the map. Fortresses are host to wizarding challenges and real-time multiplayer battles. Okay, so that's going to be similar to raids in Pokemon Go, from what it says here, and we'll be able to fight Death Eaters and Dementors. Wow. And you, okay, you won't want to face these threats alone. Gather your friends to take on threats of even higher levels and recover rarer magical foundables within the fortress walls. So it looks like we're actually going to get a chance to fight these dangerous creatures and Death Eaters and win even more fancy stuff. Maybe we'll get more powerful spells or more, uh, as it says here, rarer foundables, which I still don't know what foundables are. I'm assuming they're the little pieces of magic like we saw in the teaser trailers um, released over the last couple of months. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is an assimilation of a duel that is awesome. To further develop your wizarding skills, you can also choose to specialize in different magical professions. Aurors, magical zoologists, and professors each have their own unique skills and abilities that will become handy in different times, particularly during wizarding challenges. Team up and strategize with witches and wizards from other professions to tip the scales in your favor. And look at this, we've got some dual action going on here. Wow, guys. This is, this is simply amazing. Uh, wow. Okay. Starting off with duels right away. We didn't get that in Pokemon Go for almost two years, man. Actually, I think it was over two years before we even got PvP. This looks like maybe PvP, or maybe it's still PvE, but either way, that is exciting to me. Let's see what else it says here. There are plenty more secrets to re be revealed and mysteries to be uncovered, so keep your wand at the ready and be prepared to unite with your fellow witches and wizards. Wizards Unite will become available by signing up at wizardsunite.com. And following on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I already follow on Twitter. I don't Facebook or Instagram right now. Pre-registration is available on Google Play. So guys, if you're on an Android and you're watching this on mobile, or if you're not watching this on mobile, go watch this on mobile. And I will leave um, the link to this website in the description so you can go over and open up your Google Play if you want from mobile. you got to do this on mobile. It won't work on your computer. And sign up to get notified as soon as the game drops so you can get started right away. I've already done this, so I will be bringing you up-to-date content as it unfolds and as we're allowed to play the game. And judging by this and the fact that they've released so much, oh my god, look at these screenshots, and the fact that they've released so much information kind of leads me to believe that maybe I was wrong thinking late summer by July 31st, September 1st. It looks like we might be getting it a lot sooner than that. Now it's only March, Maybe we're going to get it in May. Maybe we're going to get it in April, or maybe we'll get it at the end of this month. I think the end of this month is a little too presumable, a little too soon. But I think it might be safe to say that April or May, that we might actually get this. Now, I won't be surprised to see them push it till July and build the hype even more. But as of right now, guys, I mean, this could come out, with all this information, this could come out any day. And look at this, okay? Wow, look at this. More care of magical creatures, traces can be found. Look at this screen. Look at, look, can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. Dang. Wow. This looks amazing. I'm wondering if these little towers here are the fortresses you have to be, kind of like gyms in Pokemon Go, where you get to do, like, raids on certain Pokemon, um, or you can, like, take over the gym and own it for your team. But if I remember correctly, oh, look, that's Hagrid. That's Hagrid. Screw what I remember, that's Hagrid! Oh look, and then... Oh, that looks like a shadow of Norbert. 
Is that a Pegasus? No, oh, you know what that is? That's one of those Braxton horses that Madame Maxime has. Looks like Hogwarts Castle there in the background, maybe. And Buckbeak, of course. Who, can, who could forget Buckbeak, right? Oh, my God, guys. Wow. So this, this looks absolutely amazing. And on top of all of that, and let me see if I can bring up for you real quick. I went, oh, I'm sorry, I keep stop looking at the camera, but this is so hype right now. But let me see if I can bring up for you the tweet I got today, giving more description on, yes, okay, here it is. I found it. Again, look at that majestic picture of the hippogriff. I think that's Buckbeak. I want it to be Buckbeak. I don't even care if it's not Buckbeak. To me, it's Buckbeak. That's freaking awesome. All right, so... Let's see what this says. Today, Niantic has given us our first look at the upcoming title, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, and shared some key mechanics and features that are coming this summer. We've already written at length about Niantic's real-world platform, and we're, oh, that's just some fluff for the thing. Oh, we got a video here. Now, I'm not going to play this video because I'm not sure if I'm authorized to, and I really don't want to get any strikes, but I will uh, leave the link down in the description below. You can go check that out. Um, and watch that video. I have actually already watched the video earlier today before recording this, um, and it looks pretty sweet, guys. I gotta tell you. So go check that out. All right. So now let's see general facts. There are no teams, no school, and no houses. Now I'm a little disappointed about that because I would really love to rep Slytherin, which is my house. I've been a Slytherin forever. I, when I first started reading the books and you had those little fake tests, I would take them and I was always either Slytherin or Gryffindor and mostly I was Slytherin. Then when Pottermore came out, I signed up for that originally and I was sorted into Slytherin and so it just stuck. No teams and no schools and no houses. That's kind of sad, but I'm still going to rock Slytherin because hey, <laughs> we Slytherins got to roll together, man. We're hated by everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, still going to rock my Slytherin team. Players can play together as members of the Statue of Secrecy Task Force. So instead of being multiple teams, we're all going to be on the same team, which is cool. Again, I would have liked to have repped Slytherin, but hey, you got to do with what the game gives you. And team or no team, this game is looking fantastic, so I'm okay with it. So let's see. Game takes place after the Calamity and a magical event that has allowed Foundables to cross over into the real world. Again, what the freak are foundables. I'm assuming that they are, like I said, the items that we're going to get to find, magical beasts and like the snitch and the broomstick and st stuff of that nature. That's um, what I'm assuming foundables are. Um, but I'll keep reading this and we'll see if we actually get any more information out of it. Um, better graphics, models, and sound effects than Pokemon Go. Dude, get hyped. Get hyped. All right. Uh, Niantic product marketing, I don't know if that actually has, oh, okay. So it says that this game has been designed for a Harry Potter fans forever game and that it will last decades. Well, that remains to be seen, guys, but if that's true, bring it. I am all in. I will play this for as long as this game is playable. I promise you that. Ah, oh, hey, look at this. Foundables. We found Foundables. Now we can find out what Foundables mean. Foundables are Wizards Unite equivalent of Pokemon encounters. There you go. However, Foundables include magical items, creatures, and characters. So we're going to get to find magical characters. I wonder if that means, like, you saw in the screenshots of, of Ron and, and Hagrid, maybe we're going to get to meet them in person. That would be freaking awesome. And Harry, I would love to meet Harry in person or in, you know, person. <laughs> Sorry, air quotes. I know, cliche, but hyped, okay? There should be around 100 foundables when the game launches. Some foundables are only available during night under particular weather, and some are even tied to moon phases. Example, werewolf can only be encountered during the full moon. Oh, that is so awesome! What? That is awesome. I'm sorry. For somebody like me who is a night owl because I've been working second shift for damn near 12 years now, being able to encounter and do special stuff specifically at night is going to be a big deal for people like me who are more nighttime players. Now, my days off, I'll be out there during the day, so don't worry. You're going to get the full spectrum. You're going to get day and you're going to get night, and this is going to be off the chain. Werewolves during the full moon, like how do they count that? That is 
Awesome. Now my question is, is it going to be all three days of the full moon phase or just that first day or just the second day when the moon is actually at its fullest? Now there's something to be, and I'll be interested to see. I would personally like to see it be all three days because when a werewolf transform, it transforms for all three days of the full moon. Not just the middle day when the moon is at its fullest. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and see how that goes. Foundables are collected and stored in a registry, which we saw on the other site. Again, props to you, Slytherwin, for calling that one. And I actually think Expecto Go said something about it as well. So uh, go check them out if you want, guys. They're, they're both very good channels as well. Um, I'm not going to read all of that. You can read it as I scroll by if you want. Um, it's just a registry of where you're going to be able to register the things that you find. Uh, which is really awesome. Uh, potions are a core feature in Wizards Unite. Potions can be crafted and collected. Um, oh, potions can be crafted by collecting ingredients from the world map. Excuse me. I'm super excited, guys. I'm just kind of flying through the reading. I'm sorry if it's a little jumbled. Uh, they can be used to heal mid combat. That's awesome because Pokemon Go, you can't heal mid battle. You have to wait until all of your Pokemon have fainted out and then heal and rejoin if you're lucky enough to have the time. Um, Check out the gameplay video above. That's the video that I'm going to link down below for you guys to go check out. Um, some potions can be, oh, can also induce special effects such as poison that deals damage over time. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. Okay. That's insane. Uh, fortresses. We're going to get, here's a little more information on the fortresses. Like I said, I'm assuming they're going to be similar to gyms in Pokemon Go. Uh, fortresses are five-man dungeons that require a rune stone to enter. Ooh, we're going to need like a key, some kind of pass for this. That's cool. All right. Uh, Real-time battles at a specific location. We kind of figured that one out from the context. Uh, fortresses feature various floors slash rooms filled with different enemies. Wow. Uh, so you're going to have to beat this on more than one level. That's... That's extensive. That's actually really cool. Uh, they don't do stuff like that. The closest thing we have to that in Pokemon Go is um, battling a gym down. You can fight all of the trainers in the gym, and you have to fight them, you know, depending on how long they've been in the gym, up to three times per Pokemon, which is the closest thing we have to level. So this, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be incredibly interesting, uh, in my opinion. Don't mind that little news flash that popped up on my phone. Apparently my screen recorder doesn't block pop-ups like it's supposed to. Go figure. Never does what it's supposed to do, right? Players will need to create multi-class teams to clear a fortress, so you're going to need to play with people. Um, looking at this, you might not be able to do a whole lot of solo gameplay. You might actually have to go and um, get a group of people together, you know, a, a team of two or three, and uh, go out and do these things. Hopefully... You know, hopefully there'll be some stuff that you can do on your own. Like I said, I, uh, for, as far as Pokemon Go goes, I do a lot of solo play, but I also do play with a huge group. We've got like 500 people on our Discord, and we can end up with anywhere between 5 and 30 to 40 people for any given raid, depending on the Pokemon the raid is for and where the actual raid is located. Um, so this may be something similar to that. I'm assuming that since there's three different classes that you can choose from, that there will be... Um, a minimum of three players most likely to take down like the strongest gyms as of right now. Maybe they'll expand that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're going to need like two or three of each type of player to do this. Um, wow, this seems like it's going to be amazing. I don't know what class I'm going to pick yet. I'm torn between all three of them, to be honest with you. Okay, let's, let's, let's continue. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted here. Um, players will need to create multi-class teams. We already did that. Uh, each player picks an enemy on a fortress floor, which he slash she uh, will fight against. Uh, you lose by running out of time or by being defeated. Rewards and difficulty increase every floor. Okay. All right, so maybe... Maybe you like you can do the first floor, or like a one floor fortress by yourself, you know. And then as the floors increase, you're gonna need more players because the it's gonna be more difficult. That makes sense. Um, that seems like it's gonna be really cool. Oh, can we flip through these pictures real quick? We can. Oh, so this looks like um. Let's go back to the first one. 
That's Hagrid. We saw that picture already. I'm super hyped for that, man. That's awesome. I wonder if you get to pet the creatures. That'd be so cool. Um, what's this? Uh, profession. Horror. Oh, okay. So this looks like it's kind of like the um, the tech tree, if you will, of, of an horror. Like the skills that you can use and perfect. Maybe spells you can learn. We'll figure that out as it gets a little bit closer. That's pretty cool, though. Um, and this is that port key. A picture of that, a still shot of that Porky video or GIF or whatever you want to call it that I showed a little bit earlier. Um, oh, a demi guys, and I just spit on my phone that, that you can see it. But <laughs> oh, a demi guys. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I said that twice. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's Harry, guys. That's Harry. Oh, we're gonna get to meet Harry. He's being eaten by a Dementor, but we're gonna get to meet Harry. That's awesome. So professions, okay. Uh, I'm just I'm moving along. This I'm, I'm I'm going, taking up so much time here. I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, wow. Professions. Players can choose from three different professions: or a strong at casting spells and defeating dark wizards like Death Eaters, etc. A magic zoologist. Tanky support class. Strong versus magical beasts like basilisks, etc. Oh, that's cool. Oh, am I going to get to catch a bat? Oh, I would love a basilisk. That's so cool. And Professor, uh, class with deep magical knowledge. No further info was given. Ooh, I wonder if, like... Ooh, that's a bit tantalizing. I've never really seen myself as a teacher, but... Mm, if more... We'll have to wait until we get some more information on what these classes are going to bring before I decide, but... Ooh, that got me, that, that made me tingly when I saw that. Okay, each Wizards Unite class has its own skill tree with unlockable skills and stat bonuses to accuracy and power, etc. Wow. Guys, this looks absolutely amazing. Um, and it goes on to break down the skill sets a little bit more. The map, okay. Let's, let's see what the map's going to do. Uh, Wizards Unite map has the following overworld locations. Fortresses, which are structures that serve as a five-man dungeon similar to Pokemon Go gyms and raids. Hey, check that out. I was right, huh? I wonder if that means, like, you're going to get to put creatures that you catch in a dungeon to, like, keep it for yourself or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, inns. Locations to pick up food items and refill your spell energy. That's... That's good. So that's going to be similar to um, Pokestops, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, it'd be awesome if it's like a place you actually have to go into, like in-game. Maybe not so much in real life, but like in-game you get to walk into and, you know, pick out what you want. Or if you're going to just be something like where you, uh, like you spend and what you get is what you get kind of deal. That'll be interesting to see. Greenhouses, locations to pick up potions ingredients. That looks like it could be a, a, a Pokestop type thing, too. Oh, I wonder if they're going to do, like, uh, certain stops or inns. Like, okay, so in Pokemon Go, we have just, like, stops and gyms, right? So I wonder if they're going to do something where, like, what we have, uh, what we call Pokestops in Pokemon Go are, um, like, a mix of inns and greenhouses. So some are going to be inns and some are going to be greenhouses. So depending on which one you spin will be depending on what you get. That'd be really cool. Um, and Landmarks where a particular foundable is more likely to spawn. That's pretty cool. So, like, maybe if you go up to, like, the, uh, the soccer pitch or something, you'll get Quidditch items, you know, or if you go over to the football field, um, American football, for those of you who aren't here in America, um, and, and maybe you'll get to pick up Quidditch items. That is, oh, wow, that is cool. Uh, you know, maybe if you're near a school, you're going to get uh, spells and stuff. That... There is so much stuff here to absorb and break down. I mean, I thought, like, that the speculation was over, but no. There is so much more stuff that we can speculate about here, guys. I'm going to have to make follow-up videos just to break down what I think everything's going to be. You know, I'll give you a little quick thing here, and, and that's it. So, how to pre-register. Uh, we already covered that with the last one, and I think from here down is just ads. Yeah, that's just ads. So, there you go, guys. I mean... That's 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 amazing to me. This game, I am so hyped. And if you're not hyped, you need to get hyped. And if you want up-to-date information and you want up-to-date gameplay and you want to learn and get tips and everything, 
subscribe. Go down and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell and share this with your friends who you're going to play with or people you know are going to play because this is going to be amazing and I look forward to bringing you every single step of the way and wow guys I just I couldn't be more hyped right now and I hope you are too because wow just just wow so yeah I mean I don't know where to go from here guys like I said I'm gonna have to make some more videos to break down but I mean if you aren't excited you must be like stoning stoning tin or something like just completely made of solid brick because this information like I got when I woke up today and I saw this I jumped like I literally jumped out of bed screaming and like freaking out I'm pretty sure I scared my neighbor oh alright guys let me get out of here before I ramble on any longer so yeah like I said Stay tuned for more. I'm going to bring you everything as it develops. I've got some theories and stuff, you know, insight maybe to work on for some of the information that we've just gotten, some breakdowns. And I can't wait to bring that all to you guys. So, until next time, stay safe. And as we saw, <laughs> watch out for those Dementors.